Okay, so I'm just I'm just gonna come out with it. We're just gonna lay it all on the line. Felt like it was really taste like the the bleh, bleh. Can you handle the truth? Can you handle it? Some people don't like the truth, so let me just fix this so we're really like serious about this because I don't really talk negative. Look at this. Do you see this? I just put this on literally like five minutes ago. I am so disappointed right now, it's not even funny. <sighs> hey guys, it's your girl Michelle Swoons. I'm here to talk to you very briefly about my experience with Jeffree Star and... I'm really disappointed to even say this because, let me, first of all, I need to take this lipstick off because it did not So irritated right now. I order a lot of Jeffree Star products. If you could see the collection of stuff that I have, I have probably every one of his Highlanders that came out, maybe except for like a few. And I have a, like an entire lipstick tower over here, right here, full of Jeffree Star. Okay. Do you see all that? Okay. <clears throat> Just so we're clear that I'm not like being a hater or like whatever. I don't like this one either. Is this a joke? I'm either having a a really bad lipstick day or Jeffree Star's metallic colors suck. Okay, we're gonna try and see how this works, but I don't know. Thought long and hard about how we're gonna talk about this. And the only thing I can really do is just tell you the truth. And that is all, that's all I've ever always done on this channel. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Okay, are you, are you good with that? <sighs> I don't really talk negative on my channel, so this is gonna be something new for me. And I'm really sorry if I disappoint you. I'm sorry. I saw, I showed you guys the tree. I have a whole tree of liquid lipsticks and I generally really like them. However, I have, you know, had them a while now because I feel like I started collecting his lit lipsticks last year. So some of these lipsticks are a year old, okay? Now, I don't know if they have a shelf life. I don't, maybe it's just because they're getting old. I don't really know, but <clears throat> there has been three times recently where I have had bad experiences with either A, Jeffree Star, B, Jeffree Star's customer service team or see Jeffree Star's products and I think that's really what is making me irritated and I feel like that's why I need to talk to you guys about it because and even my friends like if you guys go on and talk to some of my friends go on Facebook Instagram whoever they'll tell you like Michelle is a Jeffree Star ho like I use his stuff in my in my makeup kit because I do professional makeup and I this is gonna come to a surprise to like the people that I work with, the people that I'm friends with, the people that follow me on my social medias. They're gonna be like, wait, what, hold up? What? But you told me to buy that lipstick, girl. It really pains me to have to say this, but I, like today, I tried on two different liquid lipsticks because I was gonna film a video and both of them sucked. First off, Jeffree Star is kind of a bully. I don't know if you guys have been kind of watching what he's been saying on Twitter and 
YouTube and his pages, but he's like the Donald Trump of the makeup world. I don't know if you've noticed. He has like a big mouth. He doesn't know when to close it. And the whole like, the whole thing with him and Kat Von D and all that drama, like keep your business to yourself, ho. I don't need to know all about this. Like I got my own stuff. I got my own drama. I got my own life. I got my own friends. I just want to like escape. So when I go to YouTube, I want to escape and like watch YouTube videos and like figure out what new makeup is coming out on the market. I don't want to hear about y'all's beef. I don't give a shit about your logo. I don't give a shit about what Kat Von D said about you. I don't give a shit about none of that stuff. I don't care about your Rolls Royce. I want to see the makeup. Like, I want to know what you think is cool makeup wise. I'm here to look at makeup and I, I understand that not everybody is here for that, but I, I thought it was really in poor taste to just go on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and respond to all the negativeness that is going around. I feel like he should take a better stance because he's a business owner and when you're on YouTube like this and you're in this like kind of platform light, you're somewhat of a role model. So what are you teaching people that it's okay to like be a bully and run your mouth and say nasty things? I just don't, I don't agree with it. Then again, we're all different people. I know that's what makes the world go round. So that's just one of my things like kind of got under my skin was how he runs his mouth and the whole thing with him and Kat Von D. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Second thing, <clears throat> Rich Blood is a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick color that has fragments of glitters and pigments in it that are shimmery. And the, I understand that because of that, the formula is going to be different. However, this is like drying up. So, and I always close it until it clicks. Now these older ones, they you feel it click, but it's not as predominant as the newer ones the click is. And I got this when it first came out. So this lipstick is a year old because I think this came out last Christmas. So that could have something to do with it. I really don't really know, but there is no way in hell that I'm gonna go through all of these lipsticks in a year. So if they are gonna have a year shelf life, I think maybe should somebody should say something about that because I feel like I just bought this yesterday and I've only probably worn this a handful of times since I purchased it. But yesterday was a year ago. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm just saying that this disappointed me. Uh, I had, so I put it on earlier and then you guys saw the video, like on the beginning, I had to kind of like try to, cause it started in the big inside my mouth here it started to like pill and like ball up into like little rubber balls and fall off. But it was like also bleeding all over the sides of my face right here. So my lipstick was kind of bleeding out this way. And I think it was because I put too much on, but I had to put too much on so that I could get the coverage that I wanted with this. Cause there's not a lot that comes out on the wand. So you, and it's really super moussey. So it's hard to spread. And it's very difficult. So I was really disappointed with Rich Blood. I don't know if they still sell this and maybe he maybe reformulated it and the new formula might be better. I'm not really sure, but I'm so disappointed in this color. I have to be, I have to be very careful on how I apply it. And you can't apply too much, but if you apply too little, it's very streaky and patchy. So I just wasn't expecting that from this because I do remember wearing this before and it was not that bad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> no tea, no shade. This is one of his new metallic liquid lipsticks and I hate this one. The way that it goes on, you can see like, um, it almost looks like I'm wearing lip liner, like a chola, you know, like a chola. Not that I don't like cholas because cholas are the bomb, but I'm just saying I don't always want to look like a chola because then people start to judge me, you know what I'm saying? Because they're racist as fuck. So no tea, no shade. Um, I ain't trying to throw no shade, but this sucks. I don't know. Nah. So the last little Jeffree Star rant that I have is this. I buy a ton of his stuff, okay? So around Christmas time, I purchased the whole new collection that came out along with 
the princess cod highlighter for my friend for her birthday. Anyways, to make a long story short, they sent me the products. When I went to open the box, the princess cod highlighter was not in the box, okay? So I f opened a email claim or whatever and I told them like, hey, I'm missing product, just so you know, can you please resend it to me? I need this for my friend's birthday. It took them three weeks to reply. So now, my friend's birthday has long passed, like long passed. And they were like, yeah, no problem. Take a picture of the packing slip and what you did receive in the box. And I was like, okay, so, okay. So now, three weeks later, after I opened up I, five emails, I sent them five emails. Like, hey, did you guys get my request? What do I need to do to get this redone? Like, I'm missing product that I paid for. And those whole, those things are 29 bucks. Like. That's 29 bucks. I need my shit, ho. Okay? I reached out to them multiple times. Three weeks later, they finally respond. This guy tells me he needs me to send him a picture of my invoice and what I did receive. So now I'm rummaging through all my stuff and trying to find the invoice. Found the invoice, found my products, took a picture, sent him the pictures. Another two weeks have passed and I have not received any, any word from anyone. So... I went to my credit card and I disputed the transaction because I didn't get everything that I paid for and I'm not going to pay for something I'm not getting. Disputed the transaction. As I'm disputing the transaction, they basically tell my credit card company like, oh, she received the package, here's the packing information, here's the tracking number, the package was received. So then they close the, my credit card closes the thing because they're like, oh, okay, it's just so you get the package. Is everything okay? Blah, blah, blah. So they call me to close it. And I'm like, no, it's not okay. Read the goddamn emails. Like, I am not going to sit here and repeat myself 10 million times. I have four jobs, okay, literally. I have four jobs. I have four full-time jobs that I have to do. I ain't got time to sit here and argue with you about a goddamn highlighter, okay? Read the information that I gave you. I told you I received my package. I told you that the package was not damaged. Everything was fine. I just did not get the highlighter. You must have forgotten to put it in the box. Like, just, I don't give a shit what happened to it. I don't care what the problem was. Just send me the freaking highlighter or give me my damn money back. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not trying to get, like, the Taj Mahal out your ass. You know what I'm saying? So they respond back and they're like, okay, we're going to reach out to Jeffree Star's team, blah, blah, blah again for the fourth time it has now been over a month and a half since i have like received the box a month and a half so then they respond again and they're like hey we need a picture of the box too well bitch i don't have the box it's a month and a half later clearly the box has probably been thrown out and I know where you're going with this. The box was not damaged. It didn't just fall out the goddamn box. The box was fine. You forgot to put it in there, okay? I ain't playing with y'all no more. I am like beyond irritated at this point. And I don't even want to shop there anymore because now if something does happen, you're, you're telling me that going through your customer service is going to take me two months to get this fixed? You can tell the difference between a customer service team that really does care about their customers and a customer service team that just wants money. Like, no. Basically, putting on rich blood today and realizing that it just is not what I thought it was going to be. Um... Like even now I took it off and I put it up, I put it back on again and I tried only to do like one coat so that it wasn't like, but it's still like meh. I don't know. I think after trying that on and having a be bad experience, I'm like, okay, that is it. That is it. I had had it. Okay. So thanks for watching me rant for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes about some bow shit. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> There's somebody who's going to be real pissed about what I said. I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with me. I really completely understand. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy, and I'm not trying to be a jerk. But this is just my personal experience. Especially, I think it hurts me more because I was such a diehard Jeffree Star fan. And then, like, just seeing all this kind of stuff unfold and I'm getting crappy product and then having a bad experience with this customer service team. I think that's what really got me. I'm not saying I'm never going to buy Jeffree Star again because I am. I just... 
I probably won't be as invested as I was and I probably won't buy as much as I used to. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to tell you guys honestly about what happened and let me know if this has happened to you. Do any of you guys have rich blood? Let me know. Um, is it really, really moosey, like hard to move? And, you know, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.